My name is Teacher Penny. I am an online teacher with a couple of different companies, VIP Kid and Out School. And um, in, with VIP Kid, I do a lot of teacher training, uh, training new teachers on how to get hired. And with Out School, I actually teach using Zoom. And I have had a problem here recently, as most of you know, with a lot of the stuff that's going on with Zoom right now and having to use it for schools and all that. They had some security issues, so they updated to a brand new version of Zoom um, that came out in April of 2020. Um, it's now middle of May and um, they, they are going to force everyone, you have to get the new version of Zoom by the end of May. Well, the problem is for those of us that use Macs, there is some kind of glitch in there somewhere that is not allowing us to use virtual webcams um, in Zoom. Now, a virtual webcam is where you use a program like uh, Minicam or OBS or Cam Twist in order to share your screen and then do all kinds of, of effects with it, like green screen that you see here, although this is a just a Zoom green screen here. But you can do Zoom green screen, you can add pictures and all that stuff. And I use it constantly in the way that I teach. I have picture in picture and stuff like that. So I love to use Minicam in, um, in the classroom, and I really need to be able to do that in Zoom. Well, well, with the the latest version that came out it did not allow for minicam or anything you know any of those virtual webcams to be used in this latest version of zoom um, when you would look you know I'm, I'm actually in a zoom classroom right now so when you go down here um, at the bottom of the page where it has the video and it says to select a camera um, when I upgraded to the latest version of zoom all of those other cameras disappeared and the only thing that was available was my FaceTime camera. Okay, and I could not figure out how to do it. Well, I did some research and I finally figured out how to do this, how to fix this problem. And you're gonna, to fix this, if you're having the same problem, you're gonna have to do just a little bit of computer programming, okay? I know nothing about computer programming, particularly with a Mac, but I had to figure it out for this because I had to make it work, okay? so. This is what I discovered. You've got to actually change something in your computer programming. So this is how you're going to do it. First off, you're going to have to do two different things, but they're pretty simple. Okay, really, I promise you, they're really simple. If I can do this, you can do this. Okay, so the first thing is look down at the bottom on your taskbar and way over there on the far left side, you're going to click on Finder. And that's going to bring up your finder box. Okay, go to the screen to this uh, the menu over here on the left side and click on applications. Okay, then under applications, you're going to click on this blue file that says utilities. Okay, then you're going to open up terminal. This is a program that accesses it goes into the actual coding of the computer. Don't worry, you're not you're not going to mess anything up here, okay? When once you get into that one at the bottom of this of that whole list of, of code there, it's got the name of your computer and, and you see mine there. I'm going to blur the name of my computer out. I don't think you guys need to know the name of my computer. I don't know if you can hack it from there, but I don't know. But so I'm going to take it out. Anyway, but at the bottom of that line of your computer, you are going to uh, you're going to put in this line of code, okay? Now I'm going to put this line of code here as in, in the, the video. I'm also going to put it in the description at the bottom of the page, okay? So this is a line of code. It has code design, remove signature applications, you know, a whole bunch of, of stuff in there. I don't know what it all means, okay? But it's removing some kind of signature within Zoom so that it allows this to work. Okay, so once you put in that little code, just click enter and that's going to add that to the Zoom app that uh, it's going to allow us to use this. Okay, so that's the first thing you do is you go in and you um, add that line of code in there. Then you can close out that you the, the terminal, you can close out your utilities. Now go up here to the top of your screen and click on that apple. See the apple up in the top left corner? Okay, click on the apple and then click on system preferences. 
Okay, under system preferences, you're going to click on security and privacy. And then you're going to scroll down on your list over here to screen recording. Okay, and under screen recording, you see there where I have given it permission. I've given my computer permission. I've given these programs permission to record my screen. That's Minicam and Zoom. I've given both of them permission. I don't think I said this at the beginning, but make sure before you start doing any of this that you have quit Zoom and and you have quit Minicam or OBS or Cam Twist or whatever one, whichever one you're using. Make sure that you have quit those completely. So click on the right click on the icon down there here in the bottom and click quit to make sure that the program is completely closed down. Okay, so once you do that, then you're going to go over here to the system preferences, security and privacy, and you see how it has the little check marks beside those two? You're going to turn, click those to turn them off and then click it to turn it back on. You have to do that with, um, with this to make sure that it has updated to the latest thing that allows you to do that screen recording. Okay, so make sure that you've got you that you've gone through here and um, allowed it to do the screen recording again. Okay, so those are the two things you got to do. You got to do the the add that little line of code in terminal, and then you have to go in and give it this this access. Okay, if this is where you have upgraded to the the latest version of Zoom, you're probably going to have to give it all kinds of permission to get, when you go back in there. You're going to have to give it permission to use your camera and your video and and your 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 audio and all that stuff you might also have to when you do this part over here with the the um, security and privacy you might have to enter your password for your your computer whichever one you have to just add each one of those okay once you do all of that you should be able to use uh mini cam cam twist whatever okay so if you look here in zoom down here at the bottom of the screen there is that little video camera and you're going to click on the arrow right beside the video camera and choose which camera see now they all show up there cam twist facetime mini cam cam um, you all of those are going to show up there okay and you can choose which one you want to use so in this case i would choose mini cam right now i'm using facetime cam facetime camera because i'm recording on mini cam anyway so but that's how you choose the the correct video camera to use here in zoom so that you can use that um, those effects with mini cam okay i hope this has helped you out and that, that you have figured out how to do this i've looked all over and i couldn't find a whole lot of information about how to make this work so once i finally found it I decided to make a video to help you. So if this has been a help to you, give me a like and a subscribe here on YouTube. And if you want more information about teaching online, either with VIP Kid teaching English to children in other countries or without school teaching children all kinds of subjects, then um, uh, find me on my website, hellopennydavis.com. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. See you next time. Bye.